Uh, when I was young, when I was about 14, 15 years old, I was into uh, gangs and, and crews. And, uh, and what happened was at that time, I got caught for a third degree burglary that led me here to Breezy Foundation. I started coming here in 1996 when I was just uh, 16 years old. Uh, at that time, I was into graffiti. I was into uh, party crews. And mostly it was up to no good. My mom had suffered a stroke. So it was hard being at home at that time. Um, it gave me a place to escape from all, you know, just the negativity. Also, uh, the fact that my mom wasn't able to help me do anything. Here at Brazil Foundation, they, uh, the LAPD assigned me a case manager, which was Rene Martinez. And so he assigned me into a very uh, rigorous program. So I came and I, I, I checked out the place. And that's when I got introduced to some of the staff and I got to meet um, other youth my age and I got to see what programs and activities they had to offer. It was almost like a second home to me. So it did give me a lot of positive activities to do and also positive people around me when I needed them. And then I met Kathy Trout. And one day I was up at the youth center, I was drawing and you know she started talking to me about how technology could make what I was doing a lot easier. And, you know, pretty soon she got me on the computer and, and she got me on this tablet. For me, it was very pivotal at the time because I needed someone to talk to, someone, uh, someone that I can tell my secrets to. I learned that I did have a future and I had opportunities. I had open doors to different things, different subjects. It just gave me an idea that I, I could do more and I could be more. Another thing that kept me here was that positive attitude that the staff would reflect on all the youth. What we do is that we provide uh, peer counseling, anger management, and community service to juvenile repeated offenders. The tables have turned, and now because I'm a staff, I get students that come into my office all the time that they either need to talk about something or they need assistance on a project. When the kids talk to me about gangs and talk to me about, you know, about fights in school, about poverty, I'm able to, I'm, I'm able to tell them this is, this is what it is, uh, but also give them a different perspective. I love helping kids and just because of the fact that it opens up their minds to see uh, things that they've never seen, um, to look into their future, to think about what they want to do. To work back here, it's a great resource for me because I'm able to to uh, talk to youth and tell them, you know what, this is what I know, and let me convey that to you. It's a resource because I've learned so much here uh, from, all, from everything that we do, all the programs put together, and then it's an, an investment because the time that I dedicate for these kids, I know that they use it, and I've noticed a transformation, and they've evolved to something even better. People always seem to come back. I don't know about come back and work, but you know, just come back and visit. So it's, it's, it's more than just a youth center. It's, um, it's almost like a second family.